Hey guys, Darth Glork here, back with part three of our Saints Row playthrough. So, last time, we uh, were we, we first picked up our Hitman target list, and we spent a long time searching in vain for our target. We found one uh, that we weren't we weren't actually immediately looking for, and then we also uh, were, we were not able to find the one that we were looking for. So you know, kind of a mixed bag there. Now. What was the other thing we did? We also did a plethora of story missions, including uh, we have started officially, we are going after the Los Carnales, and so that has been the plan thus far. Now, we're probably going to have to do, I think we're probably going to have to do some side missions now, because I don't think we have the respect to do uh, any more main story missions for a little bit. Anyway, so, uh, first of all, want to apologize about the weird upload schedule this week. I had a really, really crummy day on Monday. My, my commentary was very, very subpar. Uh, for my own standards. Maybe you guys might not even notice, but I noticed and I did not like it. Anyway, so that wasn't good. So then I, I had to upload those videos that I recorded on Monday, so I put them up on Tuesday. So then I didn't have the, I didn't have the time to, to record on Tuesday. So then, uh, Wednesday rolled around and then I had some very sudden errands that I suddenly had to run that I didn't know was going to be a thing. And so then because of that, I had to drive across town and then I was gone for the majority of the day. So by the time I got back, I also didn't have the time to record and so that was that was a bummer so we are officially on today let me double check that it's Thursday it is Thursday isn't it I'm not crazy yeah so it is Thursday so we we will be recording of course everything normal today uh, and then we will I'm gonna do my darndest to record tomorrow for Friday and on Saturday so that way we at least get something up this week anyway so that's all good news. Now, uh, in order to help make up, help make up for it, I do have an exciting announcement. I'm going to there is something very exciting and new coming to my channel very soon. Um, I'm going to hold off on giving the official announcement because it's actually going to be fancy enough to get its own video. Um, so there will be eventually though there will be a video coming out on its own, and so I'm not going to gonna going to announce it until then. But suffice it to say, there is something exciting coming soon, and I hope you guys are excited. Uh, what was the other, other thing? So I am very close to finishing my anime it, the my anime review might be coming out tomorrow or the next day but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be coming out this week honestly it'll probably be I think we picked up our money from the, the safe oh we have 50 bucks there we go all right now we are at wow we are almost at six thousand dollars that's pretty that's pretty sweet anyway so now excuse me ma'am so looking at our cars we have the capshaw which has done nothing our cavallaro our fancy muscle car we have the Hollywood, probably our best looking car. But let's go ahead and take our Capshaw, uh, and then let's go and customize this thing. Because it's so bad. Also, the frames are really bad. But that that's the Xbox. That's not even my recording software for once. Hang on, let's... Oh, you can go up and down. It's not just one direction. Well, that's really convenient. Anyway, um, it's still not trigger. Anyway, so let's go ahead and go find a mechanic, and let's uh, soup up this car. So... Lulls to rim jobs. <laughs> well, so fun fact I rolled our car. Uh, flee. Rest in peace. Don't hit me. Alright, so uh, I rolled our car. So I was, I came off this, I, I, I'll probably just show how that happened. Uh, wow. So, I don't know what happens if you lose a car that you own. Luckily, it was the car I cared about the least. Anyway, uh, let's go run back to the crib, and let's just see what happens. See if it's if it's there, or see how this works. So, uh, extended, extend. <laughs> I'll be right back again. Ah, okay, here you go. So, when your car gets completely destroyed, it does reappear back at your, uh, back at your garage. Obviously, you do need, it, you know, it does cost $500 to repair it. But it is, uh, it does go back to the garage. So now we know. Anyway, now let's go to the mechanic, uh, more carefully this time. And let's, let's do something fun to this car. So anyway, now we know. It all, it might have been worth paying just, just to see that experiment. But at least it was this car and not any other car that I cared more about. So Stupid, I, so I call that a victory. Anyway, to, uh, the mechanic. There we go. Here we are. This time I slowed down on that turn. This car is so low that it, uh, this car is very, very low. It's low enough that it often gets caught on, like, ledges and things. Okay, so lights. 
I would kind of I don't really care honestly like it's stock light I mean so far let's let's chain things I do care about so we, it already has flashy on the front and the back which honestly the those two are not really the problem I kind of like the sport hood because it's kind of a good in between although maybe 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 bigger is better flashy is kind of is kind of cool we could turn this thing into like kind of a Ford Fox body kind of look going on so you know we that could be good so I like the sport one on the back that is cool so the roofs, we have a racing one, which is interesting. We have a street one, a sport one, <laughs> travel. It's like it's like a luggage rack. Uh, let's see. I don't really like the the. I really am not a huge fan of roof scoops in general. Um, and the the kind of the poking up in the back kind of feels weird. So I kind of feel like just having the regular one is honestly better. Body kits is all obviously that's all of them. Uh, it already has sport on it. I like the I like the dual pipes, honestly. Uh, spoiler, it has the stock one, but yeah, let's look into doing something better. Sport ones kind of, I mean, they all kind of look a little bit. Uh, I think I kind of like sport. Racing is fine, but racing feels too aggressive. You know what I mean? Whereas sport kind of blends a little better. Let's go ahead and put a a regular one on it. Okay, and then. Let's go ahead and go to colors, because I'm not overly in love with the color. I just, it was better than what was on there, and so that, that kind of felt like a upgrade. Uh, I kind of wouldn't be against making it like a black or a purple and then doing something else to it. We could make it like blacked out and then put something else on it. Or we, we actually, we could also go white. Go like, re go really white and, yeah, I like that idea. Let's go, let's go white. There we go. All right, so now that's better. So now we can do other things to the rest of it. Now, trim color... That's the thing is there's like not really any trim on this thing. See what I mean? Do you notice any difference? I don't. All right, so there's not really any trim on this thing. So rim color, that one's easy. All the way up. There we go. Blacked out. I think that's cool cuz then we could go kind of for kind of a black and white look on this car, which would be fun. And then the tint. Uh, let's see. Clear. Yeah, we could go dark tint on it. Sweet. All right, and then color scheme. Yeah, thanks. I'm already all set. All right, that's cool. I don't think this thing needs nitrous when my other cars don't. Like hydraulics, same thing. I feel like let's even this already actually makes it something good. So considering how black the rims are, it feels feels kind of weird to spend anything on them now. Beautiful. Well, see, even that is so much better. Like it actually feels like a cool car. You know what I mean? Like look at this. Isn't this so much cooler? So much cooler. Anyway, that's a that is a definite improvement. Now this car is actually awesome. Okay, beautiful. So now we need to figure out what we want to do for side job because I would be shocked if we had the respect to do anything else. So let's see. Let's see. We have Chop Shop, which I'm pretty sure Chop Shop is a, uh, like, the dude is after specific cars. And so you if you bring him the cars he's after, then it gives you, like, respect and money. I'm pretty sure it's, the ver it's like, the exact same thing as... Uh, Pretty sure it's the exact same thing as the, the, the hit list. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. I also, look, there's also a jewelry store. Let's go check that out. Maybe we can get a sweet chain, yo. Anyway, this car is so much cooler looking. Look how good it looks. Anyway, I'm going to be try to be very careful and not hit anything on the way over because I really don't want to hurt my beautiful car. Now that, we, now that we finally did all this to it, I wanted to want it to look nice. Now I actually value this car like unlike before where it was just this kind of barely red car that was kind of hideous meant nothing to me oh this is not a this does not go through I was gonna try and use that to get around the traffic but alas we really could have put like a better engine in this thing this thing is kind of slow and gutless but at least it looks good you know one step at a time at least it looks good even if it's not the fastest car in the universe anyway so yeah let's go check out the jewelry store we also might change our our clothes again maybe that, that we could make that tradition like Unless, you know, we could think about changing our clothes every episode. We also could wait a lot, like, wait a little bit and then change it a little bit later. We don't have to do it at the very start or anything. Anyway. But, yeah, we could change it. And if I happen to love whatever outfit we're wearing, we don't have to. But we could think about it. This is also, this is also not my side of town. Careful. We all know what, the, what little bumps like this do. You might accidentally ram your hood into the edge of the car and... Told you this car is low. You see that? I almost, uh, it like scraped the bottom. I also want to be careful because I don't want to tick off this cop. That's how that happens. That's how it starts, you know. Okay, there we go. A little farther. There it is. Okay. Let's just, uh, 
park where it's safe over here. Nice. It's, now, obviously, I know it's over there, but why would they ever... Are they going to hide anything up here? Thinking I wouldn't check, but I did. Ha! Told you. Oh, hang on. No. Let me out. All right, well, now, now, now we better do it. So let's say considering. And that's like, now we better hurry up and do it if we're going to accidentally start it. Now we got to hurry up and go take cover inside somewhere before the before the rollers show up and start attacking me. Hi. I'm here to buy I'm here to look at jewelry. Oh, here's what you so you so you hang on, my my button got stuck. I didn't actually want those. Anyway, so you can buy glasses. I was wondering. I was about to say like it seemed weird that they that they didn't have it. So they do have it. Ooh, I like the section 9 ones. Those are cool. <laughs> Small round ones. The, the I like the slim ones are classy, but we kind of have uh, obviously a gangster look going on. And so I feel like getting like the, the the section nine ones make more sense. Two hundred forty dollars, they better be good. Ooh, black and red, black and silver, blue and red, gray and black, red and black, white and blue. the The lenses don't don't feel those don't feel red to me, but I I'm not against giving a different lens color, like the. The different lens colors are cool. Maybe just black on black. Let's, yeah, you know. I? Very cool. Okay, what else we got? They have rings. I'm not sure if he... There, there has to be something really cool. I'm not just going to blow it for... I'll, I'm willing to bet this stuff's going to be very expensive. Round gemstone. Lion ring. Dollar sign. Yeah, no thanks. Necklaces. It would be, be kind of cool to get get us a necklace. I'm willing to bet these are going to be really expensive, too. Okay. And then you have medium ones, which is... It's all the same ones, I think. It's probably just... Uh, they're just... Some of them are longer and shorter than others. <gasps> Celtic cross? Hang on. I, I want one of those. Uh, should we go short? Let's see here. Let's just... Uh, trying to think which chain would look good with a, with a Celtic cross on it. I kind of like that one. That looks kind of similar to the necklace I'm wearing, to be honest. I in real life. Wow, platinum. The respect though is pretty insane, though. We could go silver, and prove that we're ballers. I mean, we we also technically have the money for platinum, but we're not going to do that. Let's go silver. We're high rollers. We deserve it. All right, now pendants. I want a Celtic cross. Yes. Also make that silver. I'm sure you'll be That's freaking sweet. Picture. We're wearing a Celtic cross. That's awesome. We're, I'm wearing one of those in real life, so that's awesome. Piercing eyebrow. I'm not interested in any of that. Getting one like on the ear could be good. It could be cool, but it's also easy to make that not look cool. So we kind of have to, like, maybe one like stud or something, because you can kind of make that. Okay, so it's like the same thing on both sides. Interesting. You have a stud, you have a hoop. Getting like a, like getting like one small hoop could be is, is cool as well. You can kind of make that look cool. It can't be anything too crazy though, because it's very easy to make this not look good. We we could go one. We also don't have to. Hmm. Make that silver as well. Sure. Do you want that in a bag? And then let's do just just the one because that that's bit that's easier. And my right wrist doesn't have anything, so we could put a watch on it. Circular watch, octagon, rectangular. Ooh, that rectangular one's classy. Ooh, I like the idea of a chain. Swords watch, twisted chain bracelet, figure eight bracelet, plain chain, flat chain. I kind of like the idea of a watch as well, because even a gangster needs to know the time. Get that in silver. Is it this for you or someone else? Oh, it's for me. Don't you worry. I would never share with anyone else. There we go. Beautiful. We got all kinds of good stuff in there, man. Who would have thought? And shades. I was wondering if we could find shades. That's awesome. Hey, you all stay away from my car. Oh, it's a rollerblader. Didn't realize that that was a thing. Anyway, now we look freaking awesome. So now we actually should figure out what we're doing. Let's see. Maybe we should go talk to the chop shop. And see. And because I'm pretty sure that's just like the hit list where it's just like it gives you a list of cards and he's like, good luck, idiot. 
Now, I might be wrong, but that might be what that activity is. I barely nicked him. I, I mostly managed to save that. Anyway, we're good. So yeah, let's go talk to the chop shop. Watch out, rollerblader. All right, let's go pull my car off to the side. I don't want him to think for a second that I'm going to get rid of this. I just spent a lot of money on this car. All right. Chop shop. Let's see what this is all about. Wong time, Wong place. Tell Mr. Wong don't worry. N no, 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 I said don't. Yes. I promise everything is on time. We got nothing to worry about. All right, goodbye. <sighs> I am so fucked. Don't worry, Dennis. I'll help you. What's up, man? I look awesome. Got any extra time on your hands? This guy Wong put in a big order, and I'm having a shitty time finding the cars he asked for. If I don't deliver, I'm as good to him as a used condom. What do you think? Want to help me find a few rides? I would love to, Dennis. You seem like a real down-to-earth type of guy. Okay, so apparently some of them do require, uh, do require... Oh, who would put muscle rims on a minivan? Anyway, um, apparently some of them require fancy things. But let's just start with something super obvious, like a Peter Liner. <laughs> Peter Liner. Anyway... Let's do that. Find the cars on the list and return them to the chop shop for cash and respect. Told you. Same thing. All right, so now we just keep our keep our eyes peeled for a uh, a big truck, which is fine. That's easy. Okay, I realize what I want to do. With all of our stuff, we need like a shirt that's not long sleeve. So let's go find uh let's go let's run down the street for a clothes store. It's also having a sale. Hey, check check that out, team. I uh I even found a parking space on the road like a like a normal person. Anyway, excuse me, sir. I am here for a tank top. That's exactly what I want. Cause then you can see my muscles, and I mean I am actually jacked though for real. But you can also it's easier to see the rest of my stuff, which is awesome. Uh, let's see. I'd prefer to get like a. I mean, getting white wouldn't be wouldn't be terrible. I like the I like the black though, but then my I don't know, it kinda works with the jeans. Untucked, obviously. Although it's actually a giant uh respect reduction, but that's alright. Thanks for your business. Beautiful. Alright, unfortunately it did take off my chain, so uh oh no it didn't. There we go, it's back. Alright. Just wanted to make sure. Just I had to know. We look awesome. Sir, if you hit me, I will just dome you, pal. Look at me. Do I look like someone you want to mess with? Uh -huh, I'm in the way. <laughs> Just decided she was she was done. Anyway, so as I was driving, I found some interesting things. I'm gonna turn off the radio so you can hear me. So as I was driving, I noticed a couple things. The first thing I noticed is the uh, cars that for Chop Shop are actually marked. Um, as I was as I drove here, I saw lots of markers. The other thing I saw, and I'm not sure about this one, but I saw some red skulls on the sidewalk, and I was and I'm wondering if. Uh, I am wondering if those are Hitman targets. I don't know that, or they may, they might be something else. But I do know that the cars you're, the cars we're looking for are marked on the mini map as you drive. Uh, now that now that uh, that lady jumped in front. That has nothing to do with me. Watch out, guys! I wasn't gonna hit you. Anyway, so I noticed I noticed that they were that they were marked. So that makes things a lot easier because as we drive, we can just keep our eyes peeled. And I was trying to kind of find our way back to where we were, but mostly because I wanted to see if I could replicate what I was seeing earlier. It might have been this way. I don't really totally remember. Doing a doing a snatch side activity would be fine. I don't want to use my car though, because it'll get shot at, which is no bueno. After all the work I put into it, I don't want to go and th I don't want to go through all that. Anyway. But yeah, I was mostly just kind of driving to keep our eyes peeled for what I saw earlier, but I'm not seeing anything now, naturally, that I'm... Now that I'm actually going to show you, I don't see it now. But it's fine. Anyway, so the question is, do we want to hop onto the interstate? Do we want to look for our... To our target here? Music. That's interesting. Anyway, uh, do we want to uh, look for... Well, we could do racing, but I'd prefer to soup up my car and everything before I did that. We also could look into guns at this point now as well. There's another chop shop, but I don't know if, if it stacks or how that works exactly. Anyway, uh, let's see. If we did a snatch side activity, then I don't want to use my car for it. 
So we'll we'll hijack a car before we actually got there. Demolition Derby. I think I remember Demolition Derby being a really hard side activity. Okay, let's go ahead and highlight. Well, if we're going to do a snatch side activity anyway, then we might as well do one that's closer. All right, let's go ahead and target that. On the way, we'll steal a car. We'll put my we'll put my, we'll park my baby somewhere. And uh, it'll obviously it'll be in my garage because it's already added and stuff, so It'll be in my garage, but yeah, we'll steal someone's car along the way because I'm so not using my car for that. It'll get shot at, and that's not cool. Oh, crap, I'm not insured. Bro. Not cool, dude. What? Oh. That was your fault. No, it was 100% my fault. I take responsibility. All right, let's kind of park on the side here. As out of the way as possible. Beautiful. All right, my lovely car, just sit there. I gotta look for another car. Let's see. Do you think it'll provide me a car? It, it might. Let's just grab the activity. It, it, might, it might not at the same time, but there's also no reason not to. Unless... Does it start the timer? And eh, let's go ahead and get... Let's, let's get a car. I'm paranoid. Let's see. Now we wait. No, let's see. Fortune favors the bold. Hey, isn't that uh, one of the cars we're supposed to steal? This thing? Uh, it's not coming up on the map, so maybe not. Excuse me, I'm looking for a four-door vehicle. Yours will work just fine. Get out of the car, woman. Never! I'm trying to turn off the music and drive at the same time. It's not easy. There we go. Okay. Now we have a car nearby. Now let's start the activity. Let's do it. S uh, separation anxiety. For some reason, my brain was like separatist, and I always say that's not it. It's been a while since a client came in here. That's not to say my girls can't make you come. It's just I ain't got no girls to do it. Sabe lo que digo? It's like this. I had the finest chicas on the block, and these fucking padrotes come rolling around, and all of a sudden I'm left with nothing but stained sheets and some lube. Look, I need my girls, and I'm willing to pay whatever it takes to get them back. Deal. I would happily help you, ma'am. I'm like the most respectful gangster ever. But hey, that's what gets you ahead, man. Real gangsters value respect. Alright, anyway. So it turns out it does. Hey, there you go on the minimap. You see that thing, how it's highlighted? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, crap. Does this not go through? Anyway, you can see all the cars now that are on the minimap. Alright, so we might we might fail this activity unless I can find a way to get back to the road. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. This isn't going well. We have to find a way out of this place. And this car is getting abused. There we go. All right, there we go. This car is also gutless. Holy crap, this car is gutless. Doesn't matter. Now we're on the now we're on the actual road now. So, ah. Hey, I'm working here. Chill, lady. I'm I'm gonna help you. All right. Darn it all. All right, let's handle this guy first. Get in the cart. Get in, woman. Uh -oh. That was close. So the Los Carnales didn't like me knifing that guy, by the way. In case you're wondering, they're like, yeah, I kind of would assume that. I could have just shot him, but to be fair, I wanted to actually kill someone with a knife, just to mostly just to see. This car is kind of gutless, but it's fine. It also looks like a, you know, a soccer mom car. Also fine. We did it. Obviously, level one is very, very easy. As you, I mean, you can see, we got, like, no money for that. But the clothing bonus got us over the top. But let's go ahead and do another one, because we're always going to, you're always going to need to, so if it's convenient, might, you might as well do more than one. Because you're always going to need another one, you, you know what I mean? You're always going to need more respect, I mean, because obviously uh, every mi all the missions are going to require respect. So if you have an excess, that's fine, because then you can do more missions in a row. So, you know, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Oh, dear, that was a tall curve. It's fine. I thought about grabbing a, you know, car with some more oomph, but at the same time, I'm also on a tiny baby schedule here, so. 
So, you know, if I couldn't find one, then it would end up being more trouble than it's worth. Oh. Hang on, I wonder if we could just shoot this dude from the car. Well, maybe not. I know what we'll do. Uh... I don't want to talk about what happened right there. Stand up. I want to I want to defend myself. Huh, none of that worked well. Oh, by the way, I'm almost dead. All right, I had some food and we're alive. That was like the messiest fight I've ever done. I like wasted so many shotgun shells trying to hit that dude and for some reason I just couldn't. I don't know what happened there. Don't know what happened there. I also know we're being shot. So now we gotta rapidly get to our destination so we can be done with it. No, sir, please. I I have hose in the car. I was kind of hoping he wouldn't cross that corner as cleanly as I did, but he didn't seem to have any issue. Come on, you gutless pile of garbage. Ha, huh, I did it. In your face. We, we good. Beautiful. Thank you, I'm done. Oh. oh, there we go. And all the heat goes away. All right. We did it. We're not making a lot, a lot of money from that, but I also don't expect to. You know where all the, where the real money's rolling in from? The, all the money we're getting, for, you know, for real anyway, is coming in, uh, from all of the territory we own. Going back to the house, picking it up, that's where the reason we have so much money. Like, we're getting, like, nothing from the activities by, by comparison. It's all about the territory. It's all about property, man. It's all about property. We also need to get onto the interstate, because we need, I want to grab one of these semi-trucks. Because um, they're found on the interstate. So, let's, uh, I'm going to find a way onto the interstate here. And I'll probably see you guys when I'm finding, finding a semi that I'm looking for. There he is! Wow, I car did not, was not at all interested in doing that at all. There he goes, after him! Go and look, there's another one. But it doesn't matter. We're, you know, we're sticking to my guns and we're getting the one that I saw. Oh, look, there goes another one the other direction. All right, that's well, fine. Hopefully, we'll. There goes another one over there, by the way. The wrong side of the road. Wow, literally, now they're all going the other direction now. But don't, don't matter. We're gonna. Hey, here he is. Here he is. I was about to say, we're sticking to it at this point. Keep going. Keep going. I'm really hoping he'll just stop if I go in front of him and break. Can you believe it? It worked. No. No. Yes. Get out of the truck. Yeah, we got ourselves a Peter Liner. All right, hang on. Turn off the music. Now let's uh, find that chop shop. I think this was the one we were going to. And I, I don't know exactly how this works. I'm assuming we just go and we can just drive the truck to him. I'm assuming that's... Or maybe... We, I don't know if we can return it to any... Like, any chop shop? I don't know how that works exactly, but we're just gonna go to the one that we were at before, and we'll just see what happens. You can see how easy easy it is, quote-unquote, to drive with a trailer. Okay, here we are. We, uh, arrived in one piece, mostly. We, uh, I found out, don't ever pop the emergency brake while driving a big truck, because let me tell you, that thing flies like it's on an ice rink, so, you know, don't ask questions. There we go, vehicle delivered! Wow, they gave you a th they gave you a thousand dollars for that. You got a lot of respect. So it turns out the the um, those those cars are really good. So yeah, getting the chop shop cars really good. I imagine also doing the hitman things is really good too. But those are much harder to find because I'm wonder I'm really wondering if those red skulls that I saw on the map earlier are uh, are hitman targets. I don't know that, but it, I am wondering because uh, because I I beneath the bridge. As I was driving earlier, I saw red skulls on the sidewalk. I'm really wondering if those guys are hitman targets, because uh, because now that now that now that I know that the um, chop shop is marked on the map, well, you know what I mean. Now it makes you wonder, like, are the red skulls that I saw? Hello, hot dog, man. Anyway, now I'm really, now I'm wondering if the what I saw was was um, hitman targets. It's hard to say. I also could say that there, I'm on the wrong side of town. There's a lot of A cops and B rollers on this side of town. I'm in the wrong part of town. Anyway, um, okay, now we actually, we could do a main story mission. We have the respect, so let's go ahead and highlight. 
Well, actually, let, let, let's run back to our crib first. L let's start with that. Let's run back to the crib. Let's pick up some money, because no doubt we'll have money waiting there for us. And then we will, uh, then we'll do a main story mission. The only thing I will probably stop for is if I see more red skulls on the map is the first thing. Or if I see a chop shop target, I'll probably stop and we'll grab one of those along the way if I happen to see it. But I don't really expect to, but we'll see. Aha! Give me that truck, lady. Look look at this classic truck I found. Wow, she was listening to like some gangster rap. Who would have thought? T chose you, man, never judge. Anyway, the good news is, well, A, that lady just killed herself in front of me. That's not my fault. Anyway, we got this really cool classic truck. So we're going to store this in our garage to customize at a later date. But, you know, we're still, we're, we're in the middle of something. But I'm just saying that this is a cool truck and we will customize it at some point. But at the moment, you know, we're on a mission. Okay, here we are at home. Let's go ahead and drop the truck off in the garage. Beautiful. Hey. All right. Betsy, out of your garage. That's a good name for that old truck. Okay. Money. Look at that. We have $1,000 waiting for us. See, look, and all the money we spent uh, on all the clothes and all the chains and the jewelry we just got, we just made it back. <laughs> we, uh, we're, we're back to where we were. It's like nothing changed. Anyway, now it's now we can go ahead and head to a Los Carnales mission. We actually will probably stop at up to the food place along the way and replace the food that we ate when I almost died because I'm an idiot. All right, we are back. So we stopped by basically McDonald's and we got some food to replace what we ate. So that's good. And now we are back. I also just almost clocked that woman because that dude almost t booked me. Well, well. Well, well. The second I was about to do a mission and some, one, of our, one of our territories is under attack. Well, we're not going to let them have it, obviously. So, quick detour. We have a, a, a sudden high priority. To the mills. Alright, here we are at the mills, just about. Uh, if you're wondering who the woman sitting in my car is, she is a homie that I found along the way. Oh, it's actually down below us. Okay. Anyway, she is a homie I found along the way. Um, that she's going to help us, you know, win, win this war. All right, uh, there we go, this way. All right, ready, homie, let's do this. Oh, are you serious? I fell out of the car? Well, that's embarrassing. She's not gonna respect me at all after that. All right, don't judge me by the fact that I can't walk, okay? I'm, I'm great at fighting and whatnot, even if I can't walk. Hey, look, there's a CD. Oh, I just totally blasted one of our homies there. Yeah, you ever wondered? Never wonder again. Well, that was easy. That was the weakest attack I've ever seen. The good news is we, we got a whole bunch of respect for that. We did it, homie. Are you happy? You're also super, super adorable. That's a nice bonus. I definitely killed one of our friends back there, by the way. I absolutely did. 100% my fault. Sorry about that. There, bro chacho. Didn't mean to kill you. Anyway, now we can go ahead and uh, head over to that mission, now that we got the pushback successful. And uh, now we can go ahead and do that. I will tell you that the reason I always like take full priority, like, you know, dealing with pushbacks is high priority, is because ah, the, um, is because when a territory is under attack, it doesn't earn you any money. Um, and so, yeah, it doesn't earn, earn you any money, and you don't, you don't get any bonuses from having it. Um, and so, obviously, the territories is er, is our biggest source of income. It's the reason we have so much money all the time. Is because we don't even we don't even have like a crazy amount of territory considering what's in the game. But you can see how much money it's earning us and how quickly it adds up. So obviously having it actively earning you something as much as possible is a wise plan. So that, so anyway, that's why I always like give it high highest priority when a place is under attack. Because the mission's always going to be there, but if it's not, you know, the main story mission. But, if the, a territory's not earning us money, then it's not doing its job. So, anyway, that's the reason it gets highest priority whenever that happens. Anyway, so, you know, now we know. So, first of all, let's hop out of the car. As much as I love her, I need her to, uh, go about her business. Well, don't you worry. Thank you for the backup. I felt... It was more moral support because we actually it was all, it was really simple. Unlike that first pushback, which was super intense, that one was very low key. So, no big deal there. But 
you know, she provided moral support. So I felt way better with her around. So, you know. Anyway, the classics never die. Dex is bringing the truck around. You know why he wanted that thing? Shit, Just sure. shrug. If you wanted to know, all you had to do was ask. I did. Well, I guess you did. Ain't that a bitch. Now that we have things in the row under control, we can get back to the plan. I had that truck you jacked fixed up good as new. Load it up with a crew and drive right into the Carnalis production plant. When you get inside, hop out and take the place over. It's not exactly the most original plan. There's something to be said about the classics. Remember what I said. Take the place over. Don't blow it to hell. The more shit you blow up, the more shit we have to replace once we're running it. Makes sense to me. Alright, Trojan Horse. That makes so much sense. Hey man, it, it worked for, uh, you know... The the Trojans never didn't suspect anything. It'll it'll work it'll work really well for us. Anyway, load up. Let's go. All the gangsters in the car. Let's do it. Trojan horse. Take the truck to the drug factory. All right. Let's do it. I parked right in the way. What a what a great parking job by yours truly. Anyway. Let's do it. Trojan horse. The, the, you know, the Trojans never saw it coming. I don't see a reason why uh, these guys should. So, you know, let's get her done. I'm ready. They're never going to suspect this when we drop like 50, 50 saints in the middle of their, uh, middle of their territory. That's going to be great. If I can, oh, the brakes on this truck though. Oh my gosh. It's so, oh, it just does not, A, it does not break. No surprise there. It also weighs like 900 tons. So. A, it doesn't break, and B, it doesn't accelerate fast, also to be expected. And C, it turns incredibly wide, also to be expected, but I'm just saying. Not the easiest thing to drive. We, we better not be asked not to brake suddenly, because heaven knows we're not going to be able to stop this thing too quickly. Should the need arise. There we go. Hey, look, I sm smashed the handbrake that time. Alright, I just slowed down because I figured we shouldn't charge in there too quickly. Park the truck and make your way into the factory. Uh, let's see how gentle that was. Oh, hello, bitches. Ready? They're not gonna Hi, see this coming. Hello. Yo, let's do it, team. Attack for the Saints. I'm getting so many kills, though. Hang on, we have people uh, up above. Oh, I'm so sorry. You guys, because you guys aren't wearing all bright purple. Some of you are wearing darker colors, and it's confusing to me. You can't hide back here, you coward. You can't escape what's happening. Oh, you are an enemy. You were just standing there. I thought you had nothing to fear, but I was wrong. Whoa. Big explosion. I get the guys on top because obviously the one with altitude are the most dangerous. Obviously. The good news is everyone is holding the same gun. This is the reason I, I use this gun is because everyone's using it. So there's like, it, I don't have to buy ammo because everyone is carrying this gun. That's why it's most convenient. Man, I wish more guys were carrying the 12 gauge I was using. Considering our my faux pas earlier and all the shotgun shells I wasted. We don't have very many shotgun shells. We lost the saint. I think I hit that dude in the head. Pretty sure I hit that guy in the head too. Either that or my homies are getting lots of kills. I'm sorry, ma'am. You're shooting at me, otherwise I would never I would never attack a woman. I swear. Hang on, this guy had ammo and I want it. Alright, sorry. I got what I wanted. That time I was ready. Pretty sure some of my dudes here are using shotguns. 
get flanked. Sorry, ma'am. Like I said, everything's under control. Absolutely. It's all ours, man. We didn't blow anything up, either. Manuel, you worry too much. Everything is under control. I've heard some nasty rumors, Hector. Like what? That one of your drug labs was shut down. Que eso? No, eso no es un problema. One of our careers thought he could cut the shit out of his deliveries. It looked like we were missing a lot of product. It really was just this, this pendejo. Hey, Angelo took care of him. And the drugs? Found. What about this gang from Saints Row? A bunch of mulas. A nuisance. Nothing more. Your father would have killed them all by now. I am not my father. I've noticed. Got him. Hey, don't you walk away from me, puta. Hey, Angelo, ¿qué te pasa? Es tan grande que pueda ser mi padre, mi hijo. Uh oh. Mujer, you listen to me. Enough. Yo estoy intentando trabajar aquí. O se comportan, o salgan de mi casa ya. You're Trouble right. in the marriage. Looks like everything is under control, Hector. We'll talk about this more when the others arrive. What's wrong there, Los Cardinales guy? Things not going well? Evil chuckle. A Trojan horse, mission completed, neighborhood gained. Heck yeah, look at that. We get $1,400 a day now. We have 7 out of 36, and look at how much money we're getting. We also have the respect to do another one. Which, uh, which, you know, we knew, but it's still awesome. Beautiful. Alright, well first let's look at our time. I'm assuming we're, oh yeah, we're killing it. Beautiful. As you can see, our territory is expanding, little by little. Uh, so that's a stronghold, so we could do that. I want to stop by a friendly fire first, probably. Oh, there's also a main story mission over there as well. Okay, let's go ahead and go... Let's see. Let's run to a friendly fire, and I think there's one down here. Yeah, let's run to a friendly fire, then we'll think about whether or not we're going to do anything else. Here we are, in some car I stole, don't ask questions. Yo, I'm here for some goodies. So that's the thing, you guys noticed when I was using the bat, how I had to stab the guy like 85 times? I am wondering if it does, if... Because I felt like when I was using the crowbar, I felt like I hit the dude like twice and he died. So maybe that person had more health, or maybe the knife is really as inferior. But it does make you wonder if I should just use the crowbar. That's the thing, because a crow... I'm wondering if it hits harder, like is it more effective in melee? It's hard to say. We'll give that some thought. Uh, okay, so we are using the Vice 9, which I like because everyone's using that gun. SMG, we, we are carrying the Spree... Uh, yeah, the, the Urban is way cooler looking, by the way. Although, this is actually more expensive, so it, that, it must mean it's better, right? So, that's the one we're holding, so that's that's interesting. The Tombstone is what we're carrying. The 12-gauge is more expensive. On, on an aesthetic perspective, I actually like it more, by the way. But this, I mean, but this gun, it, I mean, we only have three shots anyway, right? So... We could pretty much buy whatever we wanted, but that's the thing is I keep, when you see guns like this, it is tempting to just uh, pick it up on the ground and wait to see if you see it. But may maybe that's what we'll do. We won't buy it. We we're not going to buy 12 gauge ammo either. Maybe as soon as we can, as as next time we see an enemy with a 12 gauge, pick it up. We'll just keep that in mind. Uh, we are carrying the McManus, which is the sniper. We don't have any ammo for it, but it's what we're carrying. Thrown. We don't, we don't have anything thrown, but that's all right. That's you know we have one RPG shot left. Okay. Mostly, I mean we're not even we're not even not even gonna get anything because we that crap's so expensive and it always makes you feel like you're doing something wrong when you spend a thousand dollars and all you get is ammo. Anyways, but hey, now we know. Next time, next time we see a 12 gauge, pick it up. Okay, let's go ahead and go do that stronghold. And uh, luckily, it's the same. It's just right up the road. So let's roll up there and uh, let's get a new territory, shall we? All right, here we are. We're just about there. I did pick up a homie because that's gonna make this whole experience a lot more manageable. Is uh, having a buddy in the car to help, honestly, pull fire. But the good news is he also can't die. If he does get hurt, I can just revive him. So you know, it does help. That 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 does help out. Anyway, uh, Stoughton. It's it's someplace. We'll see. Another big shipment. There's too much product for us to take. So go to the docks and make sure they can't move any of it. Yes, sir, Julius. Sounds good to me, pal. Ooh, get in the bulldozer. Whoa. Alright, we're good. I don't know about my homie, though. 
We'll, uh, we'll just have to see what happens with him. Interesting. Okay, so there is three... What? Holy cow, I have, uh... Hang on, I gotta get rid of that, first of all. Anyway, I have a... I have a... I have to move, homie. Sorry, dude. I just had to, I just had to leave him behind. I am on a, uh... I'm on a timer. I did not- I expected this to be a, like, you know, attack, fight to the death type of- type of thing, and it actually wasn't. I'm also trying to figure out the best way to get to the drugs. Ow. Excuse me. I have 17 seconds. Alright, we're definitely gonna die. Uh, Alright, we're stuck. Oh, look, there it is in the distance. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We definitely failed. We'll have to just do it again. We'll have to do it. We'll have to do it again. All right, so. Yeah, retry, retry. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, apparently. Yeah, I know how it works. I know how it works. Thank you. There's too much product for us to take. So go to the docks. All right, good luck, pal. They can't move any of it. Stop it. Anyway. Alright, sorry pal. Good luck. This time I didn't leave you to die. I mean, Im immediately. You still might die. Okay, so, apparently, uh, we're gonna have to be wiser about this. But, th but you know, but, but this time I know. Okay? We're in a big old bulldozer. Just try and run over the enemy if they get if they get in the way. And now I know what we are all- we are on a timer, so l let's be quick about this. Alright, the good news is that should be plenty of time so long as I don't screw around. Alright, and I- I- I am assuming slash hoping slash thinking that, uh... Oh, so that's- so that's what happens if you run them over. Anyway, um, that a pair- I'm assuming that your time extends with, you know, as you succeed in knocking shipments into the water? I'm just gonna have to assume that, because otherwise that would be kind of BS if that wasn't the case. Come on, baby, come on. Like how he rear-ended me and he exploded. Wow, this is on a tight corner. Holy RPG, Batman. Oh! Alright, I fell in the water. So, as well. So that's fun. Get back on the dozer, it's in the water! Alright, so it doesn't matter because uh, the bulldozer fell into the water. So you have to be very, very, very careful. In addition to the fact that you're being shot at and chased and everything else. Alright, try it again. Aha, uh -huh, you like that, pal? Just keep pushing, the flaming records will move eventually. Alright, this time I'm aware. Very, very easy. Huh, and I just back up. Alright, the camera, really need the camera to face the right direction here. Oh, why did it have to be a dead end? Why? Just wait for the camera to turn. Alright. Excuse me. Excuse me. Right, reverse. Go forward. Attempt to get off this dock area. Even though it's like total death down here. Oh, Alright. Gas. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. We have 30 seconds. They do not give you enough time to do this. By the way. That is, that is my humble opinion. Alright, go. Come on, baby. Note to self, do not hit it too hard. You will... You will you will regret it. And you just... You, it's funny that you just, like, hold break and you just wait for it to react. Like, it is slower. Do it again, quickly. Oh, you've got to be kidding. By right, that time, it's in the water. Okay. All right. Gently go forward. Gently. All right. We died. 
Can you can you even Oh no, it completed. Okay, I thought we failed. It gave it to us right as the RPG was about to smack into me. I can't believe that. That's awesome. I was like, alright, we failed. We got hit with an RPG. But it, it actually gave that to us. That was that was very nice of it, considering. I ran into the wheel, by the way. That's the reason it's doing that. Ow. Alright, I think I have I think this is where I live now. Uh oh. <laughs> I fell again, but this time it spawned me on the other side. We're fine. Anyway. We did it! Can you even believe it? I can't. I 100% thought I thought we failed again. But it actually, it just gave it to us. Because the game took pity on me. Which, you know, that's a nice change of scenery. Anyway, the good news is we have another area. And that that is going to mean an increase in money. Which is great. So let's go ahead and run back to the crib. And let's pick up our money. And then, uh, then we I think we have time for another story mission. Ah, here we are. It is storming outside. Let me tell you, it is so stormy, it's hard to see. Anyway, there's another $1,300, by the way. So, uh, you know, we're rocking just a casual 7100 First of all, let's give it a save, considering all the progress we've made. Uh, yeah, this is going fantastic. Considering how much money we have, I am tempted to go customize our, our old pickup truck. I do want to do another story mission, though. And I do, th yeah, we, yeah, we have time. Especially considering all of, all of the driving I'm going to edit out. So, uh, yeah, perfect. All right, well, let's go pick up. Let's go grab our old truck. As you can see, this is, a. Uh, there you go, see? Very, very stormy outside. Very stormy. Anyway, let's go ahead and pick up Betsy, our, uh, our old truck. And let's go, let's go customize this, this old girl. Oh, my gosh, the frames because of the rain. Oh, it's killing me. Anyway, let's go, let's go find some trouble. Here we are. I also found a, me a rock station, a classic rock station. I found it's apparently the Crunch is a classic rock station. Fun fact. Anyway, but we're gonna turn it off temporarily so we can concentrate. So grills, we have stock one, which is what's on there. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, that's what's on there. We have other options. It's also stormy. So let's see. Retro looks like it makes it a little more plain. I do like these ones. Cla I like classic. Let's put on classic two because I like the I like it in the middle. Now, front bumpers. Right now, uh, retro is what's on there. I like... Classic is not bad. But retro's not bad either, honestly. It doesn't bother me. So, retro is that one. Classic is that one. I like classic. Let's go ahead and put classic. So, let's make the front one classic so that way it matches. There we go. I like the classic. Hood. We have classic. We have... Ooh, I like classic. Right now, we have stock. I like classic. It adds that little... Ooh, retro is is cool though. I don't know. They're all not bad. I like them. Let's go retro. I like the I like the little thing in the middle. All right, windows, retro rear. Oh, I like the retro rear. That's nice. <laughs> bullhorns. Bullhorns top. Yeah, no thanks. I don't want bullhorns. Trim. Yes, I want trim. It's already on there, but I want it. Logo. Oh, I like that. Putting the logo on the front. Uh, bed mods. Let's see. We have... <laughs> we, you can put those in it. That's what's on there. So stock one adds the antenna. <laughs> Commercial. I like the I like the, the, wooden, the wooden stacks on the back, to be honest. Although I, I do like the one we have, because it does add, add the antenna. But I want this. I like the, I like the slats in the back. Exhaust. What's there on their stock? I like muscle. Those are cool. Fender skirt. Uh, yeah, no thanks. I don't want one. Mirrors. I like the classic. I like the round ones. Those are really good. Colors. Let's see. Color schemes. Paint, trim, and rim. Uh, I feel like I kind of like just doing it myself. Okay. Body color. So, let's see. We already have a white, like a black and white theme. We have a, a solid black. Do we have a black and red for my channel colors? That could be good. Let's see. So let's go black as the main, and then let's add all, like all the the extras. Although maybe maybe the the main should be should be red instead. Problem is the the red for some reason in these ones just look doesn't look very red. It almost looks more pink, but it's not like blood red, which is unfortunate because that's what I prefer, and that's kind of the more closer on my channel. Cause see, this looks more pink than red to me. They but they all do. Like that that's the thing is none of them look like incredibly red or pink. You know what I mean? Like they all look just pink to some degree. 
which is unfortunate. Like, I guess, I don't know, Insane Red is the closest you're gonna get, because Americana just looks like a dark pink, whereas at least Insane Red kinda has a more of a red tinge to it. Yeah, see, the rest of those look like a pink purple, so I guess Insane Red's the best you're gonna get, which is unfortunate, because that's not very red. And then the rest of it, I think, making it, like, black would be cool. I like the metal. Chrome, aluminum, silver, titanium, copper, white gold. I like I like making them chrome. All right, rim color. I wonder if we should change the uh, change. I I I do like the classic rims though. Let's see. Let's just make them. Uh, and the let's see. That's chrome, and that's what's on there. Let's let's just make them chrome, like that. Interior. Uh, I think standard material is fine. Let's just make it black. I like that. And the window tint. Let's see, dark green, dark orange. I like the blacked out. Although it doesn't have to be completely black, like even getting a little black, like a, even a 60 or a 40 would be fine. Let's go ahead and give it a, let's give it a 40. Okay, and then color schemes. Uh, we obviously don't need that because we've already done it. Uh, wheels, I honestly, I really like the classic ones. Yeah, I really, I like the classic the best. Beautiful. Now, performance, I don't think we need any of that. Let's see, wheels, colors, yeah. I feel like, I feel like, I don't, I don't think this truck will ever get, like, nitrous or hydraulics. I just like having kind of a classic feel to, you know, to the truck in general. So I think we're gonna keep it just the way it is, and I like it. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so classic. I love classic cars a lot. So let's go put this... Well, I, I'm, on, I'm on the fence. If I put it... Should I put it back or should we just go straight to the mission? Because that that's the tie-up here is if we... Well, if we do a mission that requires a vehicle, we'll, we'll just steal one. Because I don't want to... I am not taking any of my vehicles on a mission because they will get to... They might, they might, they'll get shot at and they'll get hurt and I just spent all this money and they're so pretty. I don't want to hurt my, my pretty vehicles. Anyway, let's go ahead and go do this mission. There we are. All right, we're just gonna kind of park on the curb here. Try to keep it as out of the way as possible. That's such a pretty truck. I'm so happy. Oh, is this is this friendly fire? Oh, it is friendly fire. Anyway, oh, we need we need more respect. Never mind then. We need more respect before we can do that. Okay, so now we really should go find some trouble then. Uh, let's see. I wonder if we should. Let's see here. Insurance fraud and mayhem are both not great missions in general, to be honest. We could just go do some easy snatch ones. We, we could do a race if I grabbed one of my vehicles that was a little better. We, we could do escort. Escort is just kind of a f just fun events, to be honest. They're just... Because then you're just, like, playing getaway. We also could go look at these to see what these activities are. All right. Let's uh, head that direction. Let's actually set one here first. Let's uh, head that direction, and we'll see what trouble we find along the way. Uh, the other thing is if we see any of the those... Uh, if we happen to see the... What are they called? If we happen to see the hip, any Hitman targets, like Red Skulls, we'll keep our eyes peeled. And if we happen to see any, any of those vehicles uh, to hijack, we'll look at those too. So we'll just see what trouble we find along the way. But more... We'll just look into uh, our activity options. Okay, here we are. So, along the way... Uh, let's see, we found jewelry on thin ice, we, there's a Hitman activity, and that's the thing, is it, is it a different list? Is it the same list? I really am not sure. Uh, there's another escort activity, which is really good. There's also hijacking, and I'm not sure what that activity is. Let's see, I am tempted to do an escort missions, because those are, just, those are just kind of fun. So maybe, maybe let's do that. Or I wonder if we should go up. Let's go up and look at this store really quick while we're here. Uh, just to see what it is while we're here, and then maybe we'll probably backtrack and grab, grab that escort mission. Probably the plan there. I found a rock station, in case you guys can't tell. And I'm okay, and I'm happy with that, because uh, I am a rock fanboy. I love classic rock. So, it's another clothing store, which I am always on board with. So that's cool. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, highlight, uh, ha highlight this escort activity. It's still raining, by the way. Visibility's a little bit better, though, so, that, so that's an improvement. By the way, we are certainly not doing anything escort in this. It's a single cab, and that, that would get awkward very quickly. But anyway, obviously, uh, these cars, these missions, I've, to, if memory serves, they do provide a vehicle that is obviously, you know, four-door and whatnot, so we should be better. We're even going to park. 
Hey, look at that beautiful parking job. I park just as good as in-game as I do in real life. So proud. Alright, uh, let's see. Where is this activity? Is it on, is it on the roof? Is it in front? Can you get inside this building? I feel like it's on the roof. Oh, you can go in the front door. How about you go in the front door? No, you know, not like an idiot, like whatever I was thinking. Can you go inside? Is there a CD, like a CD in here, hidden in here anywhere? Ignore the lady on the stage. We're looking for we're collectibles. All right, anyway, we're good. Let's move on. Escort, let's do it. The no touching rule. Hey, kid, Look at him counting those you like to make some quick cash? I love quick cash. Evidently, you aren't familiar with the no touching rule. You want the money? You do me a favor. I got a couple of high-profile regulars who want a little more than a lap dance. Now, normally they could go off to the VIP room, bust a nut, and be on their way. But these guys have special tastes they like to keep, um, private. Being caught with a hooker is bad enough. Being caught with a fat hooker is even worse. I got a girl waiting in a car out back. All you gotta do is pick up the john, give the two of them some privacy. Just make sure no one sees what's going on, all right? Don't you worry, pal. My middle name is Discretion. My parents were cruel people. Let's do it! Alright, let's go pick him up. They do provide a vehicle, by the way. This car is is really classy. This is probably a very expensive car. It's also way, way faster than mine. Well, it's on the other side of the curb. We're gonna hurt the car. That's alright, it's not my car. Wow, it really won't cross the curb. Alright, hang on. We gotta go around. I can't cross the curb. It's too low. Excuse me. I had to go around, very tall curb, car wouldn't do it. It's too high class. This is like a like a Lincoln equivalent, basically. Alright, sir, get in. We gotta Damn you're fine. Flee! Don't worry, I'll be gentle. For a while. For a while. Nudge nudge. Oh don't you worry. This car is is very fast. We're at, we are hauling right now. Oh, God. The news vans cannot catch up. The bad news is when we have to go back. Oh, hang on. It's on the horizon. He's trying to catch me. I'm going to succeed before you catch me. He actually is catching me, though. Let's see if he drives as good as I do. All right. We're good. We're good. We did it. We'll probably do at least level two. Because level one is obviously very easy. And we'll probably try to keep it on not on the interstate this time. The only reason I went onto the interstate is because I just happened to be facing that direction. Remember Eep. to put your wedding ring back on. You should stop by the show. Wink wink, nudge nudge. Hey, level one. Very, very easy. As they all are. Beautiful. Alright, level two. Back up, go forward. I look probably look. I probably look like like the most hardcore like fancy car driver. I just like look. I look like danger, and it's funny. Just funny. Get in, sir. Also, I like your suit. Maybe we should wear a suit. Run! My legs are gonna kill me. Don't you worry, pal. We will get away. There ain't nothing you can do to surprise me. Oh. Trust me. That's right. I can. It all up. I can turn. Oh, yeah, easy, like easy. I can turn faster than they can. Thread the needle. Is that what I Thread figured? the needle. Keep going. Right there. Right there. We're too fast. Hit me. Hit me hard. <laughs> you like wink, like wink. That? He does. He's a. He is a interesting guy. You're an animal. Ooh, easy. Thread the needle. How do you want me? Whatever happened to personal privacy? Easy. You guys just have fun. Don't worry about what's happening out here. Ow, it hurts. It hurts. No, I'm okay. Keep going. He's fine. fine honey. There you go. Right her. in the middle of traffic. We should do this again, sweetie. Same time. There you on. go. The amount of horns honking at me right now. Ignoring it. Level two. We did it. High fives, everyone. Didn't earn a lot of money. We did get what we needed. Hey. 
We have enough. Nice. I am tempted to keep this car, though. This car is pretty high dollar. Problem is, we don't have any more cribs, so I have to travel all the way across town. Although, we actually have to do that anyway. So, let's go ahead and go drop this car off. It's very high dollar, and I want to keep it. And, uh... We might end up doing a few other things to it, just to make it even cooler. Anyway, to the crib. Alright, here we are. Excuse me, sir. Just gonna add this fancy Lincoln to my garage. Yeah, boy. The justice is now a added to the garage. Beautiful. While we're here, though, let's pick up the money. Look at that. Another $733. Now we're at $6,300. Oh, we should actually totally give it a save, though. Give it a save. That This is going fantastic. All right, time-wise, we probably should be done. I mean, well... I mean, even 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 for t even up for our time, that is a little fast. We could do a side activity, though. I'd prefer to do a main story, just on a, you know, on an interest perspective. But we could. Is it done raining? Uh, it's lightly sprinkling, but at least it's blue. You know, that's an upgrade. So looking in our garage now, we have the Capshaw looking pretty fine these days. We have the Cavallaro, our muscle car, looking good. We have the Hollywood, our classy classic car. We have the the Betsy, our really pretty old truck. Then we have the Justice, our classy, you know, whatever, Rolls Royce slash Lincoln looking car. Very cool. We could take the Cavallaro. We don't exactly drive this thing everywhere. So let's, let's pick it up and uh, let's, uh, let's go find some trouble. Now, the question is, first of all, let's turn off the music for a second. Uh, should we do a side activity or should we do a main activity? Let's see. Let's see. I I don't know how the chop shop works. Like, do 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 you pick it up? Like, do you go other places? I'm I'm not really sure. I'm also wondering what the what is the music store? You know what? Let's do that. Let's go check out the music store. Let's find out what that is. Along the way, we'll be keeping our eyes peeled for hitman targets and for vehicle um you know, chop shop vehicles to steal. So we'll just have to see what happens. Okay, here we are at the music store. Let's go find out what what this is. Hello, sir. Uh, scratch that sells songs that can be placed in your custom playlist. Oh, the more you know. Well, in America, black people should never. Huh. So we have hip hop, more classical, easy listening. What do they have for metal? Ballad of Jane, Dancing on Coals. Oh, Easy Come, I know that one, that's Winger. That's a good one. Love Injection, Mad About You. Once Bitten, Twice Shy, Great White, that's a good one. Uh, 17 by Winger, I was about to say that's a good one. I know, I know that one. Someone Like You, I don't know that one. Uh, that's a lot, of, a lot of these I don't know. Interesting. We have Reggae, ah, Rock. What do we have there? Uh, atmosphere. Blood and Thunder, Mastodon, at least I've heard of them. Wow, they added a lot of rock songs. Could you be the one? Don't move. Everything is all right. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Uh, for guys' eyes only. Yeah, I don't know like almost any of these. Girl. Uh, yeah, I don't know like any of these. Uh, still looking. There, there's a couple I've, I've known, but most of these, I don't know like any of them. Golden Boy, Too Long Awake, TV Riot, I'm sick, tripping. We're the Young Offenders, Wild America. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know like any of these. Interesting. And I don't really use custom playlists. Uh, custom playlists, for those of you that are wondering. Uh, in your audio player here, you can make uh, your own playlist so you can add all your own music, which I'm pretty sure you can, I don't know if you can play it any time or if it plays in the car. I'm assuming you could also play it in your car. So it's always on your custom one. Um, so it's super cool, and I love the idea, but I don't really use it, especially because for, for YouTube, um, for me, the audio is very loud. So in editing, I probably turn it down. I have been doing that so far. Um, but the issue that I've, I've come across is that it feels very loud, so I feel like I'm having to talk over anything. So if I'm in a car, that's the reason I keep shutting off the music. It's because if I have commentary to add or something to say, I don't want to feel like I'm yelling over it. You know what I mean? It's been raining for like three days. Like, I wish it would knock it off because it's very loud and I, I still feel like I'm yelling. Anyway, 
So yeah, it's something that I, uh, it's something that I, uh, that I, that's the reason I, I always shut off the music when I'm, when I'm doing something. It's because it feels very loud. Anyway, let's go ahead and go to rim jobs. Honestly, it's because, uh, I want to do some more things to this car. Now that, now that we've spent more time in the customization for the cars, I feel like I know, like, the tabs better, and I feel like we could do a better job. We're not going to do too much to this car, but there is a few things that I think we, there, I think we could make it a little bit better. And so I'm thinking we're going to do that. Let's see if we can find the entrance. It is very pretty, but I think we can make it a little bit better. Like I said, now that we know the tabs better, I think we can do a better job. Just a hundred bucks to fix it. That's obviously fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and upgrade this thing. So grills, I think I like like the customization parts of things. I think all of that is fine. What's funny is the front bumper doesn't have anything else other than the stock. Although stock three, it kind of like stock one or stock two more to be honest. Yeah, I think I like stock one more. Let's go ahead and put stock one on. I prefer that. Uh, that's fine. Hood. I have stock on it. Plus, we're not as broke now, so we could put more on it. I like the bigger hood. This one isn't bad either. I, prefer, I like this, so we can do that. So there's a few things that I obviously did, didn't do the first time. So convertible, soft top. I like having the hard top. I don't know. If I was going to do, though, the, the convertible is not bad. But I think that, yeah, I think I like the hard top. Fender skirt. We have none. Yeah, I prefer none. Decal. See, a decal would be cool. The only issue is all of my trim is purple, which obviously is not super conducive to the, to the decal. It doesn't it doesn't match very good. So for now, let's take none. But other thing is now that we understand the wheels, we can do different because I didn't love the white walled rims. So we could change it like we could put. Uh, <laughs> oh, my gosh, though, the flashy. Anyway, uh, let's see. Low rider. I like the muscle. Because at least it gives you a muscle feel. Let's see. One or two. I think I like... This makes it taller. This makes it a little bit shorter. I think I prefer it shorter, honestly. I like muscle, too. I like that. Okay. Um, I like that much better. So now the only thing that I'm on the fence about still is... Let's see here. Body mods. Is the decals. I really like the idea of putting flames on it. Even the low rider was cool, but the problem is that the the flame doesn't match the purple. So my question is, does it like uh, conflict? If I put that on it, does it look bad? I love the idea of flames on the muscle car, which makes sense. But the purple and black, I like it, and I feel like that it just doesn't blend. But it looks so plain without it. So it's like nothing in between is very good. I don't know. I I think I'm gonna choose to not. I think I'm gonna choose. I think it's fine. I want it. We're using it. It's fine. I do like the upgrades. It's some little fixes, but I do think it looks even cooler. I do love it dropped, though. I love it dropped. That's nice. Anyway, very cool. Okay, so now the question is, I do think we should do a side activity. Uh, let's see. We could do another... We could do an escort mission to hijacking. I'm not sure what hijacking is. There's also racing. Oh, we should do a drug trafficking. We, we, could, we haven't been to that location, so we could knock out a couple of those. I like how that taxi almost T-boned me. Anyway... Yeah, there we go. I love the changes to this car. It's like more lower to the ground. It feels much more like a muscle car. I like the change to the grill in front. I do love the flames on the side. I really like it. Anyway, but yeah, I do think we should uh, we could we could do at least two levels of this drug trafficking without it being any kind of issue because we haven't been to this location yet. So we could knock out a couple of those. Plus, our car is looking fine. There, I I. I do enjoy the, the muscle car. The changes are really good. The rims are much better. The rims make a huge difference. Plus, I do like the grill. Kind of gives you that the old GTO feeling. Ah, so good. Definite improvement. Oh, look how good it looks over there. It's so good. I'm very proud. Sorry, I'm drooling over my car. What's up, my, sure my, my, my dude? I was trying to think of the word. My hippie friend? Maybe that's what I was going for. So, unlimited ammo for that. That's good. Not unlimited for that. To be expected. Oh, hang on. Your ass is mine. Here's something I learned from Victor. That's not fun anymore, is it? All right, we're just going to use whatever's unlimited because I don't want to... Although, if, if they give it to me, maybe it'll... Who knows? 
I didn't realize that the location would be the same as the other one. So it's going to be a little harder. We can make it work and it's fine, but it's going to be a little harder. Wow, I think I got him. Holy crap, I did get him. Drive, homeboy. Keep going, dude. Go, hippie van. Yeah, I didn't realize that this would be uh, the same guy. Otherwise, I might I might have hesitated. But it's fine. We'll, we'll get a whole bunch of respect for this. For, for doing this, uh, doing level three. I like how the these dudes are shooting at us. The cops are also shooting at us. All right, hang on, hang on. Looks like you're not taking me in after all. Well, that was cinematic. Yeah, too bad they didn't think of that, huh? That was, that was, that was homicide is what that was. <laughs> Those guys got absolutely just assassinated. That was brutal. I'm okay with it, but it was, it was brutal. There's also the shotgun. Very cool. Back up, bro. I can't hit him. Are you serious, dude? Rim job can fix that up, no problem. I'm gonna smoke you now, motherfucker. Dude, are we are we serious right now? His his strategy was bludgeoning his way through that. That was retarded. Get a little closer, Mr. Police Officer. Oh, I was like, are you serious? Hey, have fun at karaoke night, dude. You never should have tried to muscle me out. We're doing good. It's fine. I knew that you were the only game where Holy crap, I got him. It's me, it's me and you, Dreads. It's me and you. You better get closer there, dude, because, uh... Yeah, I like my shotguns better. This one, it's more probably more effective, but... It doesn't feel very impressive. Dude, they're too close. I can't get them. <laughs> it's like, I can't get them, dude. They're too close. $500. Whole bunch of respect for that as well. And clothing bonuses. Very nice. All right. That worked well. I was about to say, I'm assuming it... Okay, good. It didn't use my actual ammo. Because I'm pretty sure that that's what I had before. And that's definitely what I had before. That's also what I had before. Beautiful. And a whole bunch of ammo for the pistol. Like, it's funny. Like, the pistol ends up being, like, the only thing you need. <laughs> Which is pretty funny. Nice. A whole bunch more uh, good stuff for that. Let's see here. Let's go uh, take a peek at the Hitman activity. I am curious to see, like, is the, are the locations different? Like, do I get a different list? So, uh, l let's go find out. Okay. Here we are. Inside this place. Ooh. Classy. Anyway. So. Hitman. Let's find out what this is about. Life lessons. I'm assuming Don't this is a different questions. thing then. Just yep, it's me. different. This is for you. If wow. You kill him. Deal. Right now I'm willing to bet you're thinking one of two things. Either you're thinking there's no way I can kill someone who's done nothing to me, or you're thinking how am I going to spend all that cash? Let me tell you something, sweetie. The second thought is going to get you farther in this world. I'm a brutal individual. I can do that. Anyway, beautiful. Okay. So uh that's awesome. So it so it is a different thing, by the way. As it turns out. 
So some things are easy, but like again, we're still back to the same issue of finding these people is torture, which is obviously you know an issue. So there's a lot of these people are in the oh, I don't know how to pronounce that b barrio, but a lot of them take something special. You know what I mean? Like a lot of things I'm not carrying, like uh, you know that that gun or Molotovs or any ammo for that. So you know a lot of things is different, which is you know it, it's interesting, I guess. So yeah, the this list is different. A lot of them are in Barrio, which is, you know, interesting. But hey, now we know, right? So we could, so first of all, let's just double check. Make sure you're not hiding anything back here I should know about. The answer to that is no. All right, that's interesting. And I'm, I'm not, I don't really think we're going to go looking for this lady unless, like, but at least now it's on the map. So I don't, like, does it, does this cancel out the old one? You know what I mean? I'm, and I'm just not really sure how that, how it, that works per se. Enchanto, Southern Cross, Airport, Poseidon Alley. Yeah, there's a lot of lo lot of locations. Interesting. Yeah, see, and, and that's the issue is I have no idea, a where these people will be, and uh, and I don't know how it exactly works. Like, how does it decide where? Uh, like, does this cancel out the other Hitman list that we were on? Are those other ones highlighted? Are these ones highlighted? I really don't know how that works. I don't know. But I do know that we're going to run back to the crib. We'll, uh, that's where we'll save it. And then we'll, uh, we'll, we will call it a day for Saints Row. Beautiful. Here we are. Excuse me, morons. Excuse me. Obviously, we're not adding the hippie van to the garage because I don't want, like, you know, the rapey hippie van and added to my beautiful collection. So, ignoring that. But let's take one more peek at our beautiful cars. We have the cap shot. It looks so good now. It looks like this cute little, I don't know, Fox Body Mustang esque car. I like it. We have the Cavallaro, now upgraded, better than ever. And I do love its new look. It is far cooler. We have the Hollywood, our nice classic. Real, it's, uh, it's nice. It's classic. And I love it. And we have Betsy, the old beautiful truck, like that too. And then we have the Justice, our super classy, I don't know, Lincoln Rolls Royce esque car. All very cool. And I am super, super jelling with our garage now we are richer than ever as well especially considering we just added another 800 to the bank now we are just crossed seven grand for money now so obviously we're doing great so let's go ahead and give it a save and uh yeah let's give it a save and that'll be a beautiful place to call it so i will be recording skyrim right after this so if you are interested in skyrim you're more than welcome to go check that out uh recordings today obviously are normal uh, anything else? Um, recordings to today are normal. Um, let's see, anything else? Um, yeah, so I am close to finishing my anime, so that should be coming out very, very soon. Maybe tomorrow or the next day, most likely. Uh, I will do my best to record tomorrow and the next day to get as many days of recording as possible in. And then next week, I'll be recording as much as I can, but next week I'm is also, I'm pretty sure next week is Christmas week. So there'll be some days off for that, obviously. Yeah, next week will be Christmas and stuff like that. So uh, obviously that, that'll be a thing. So um, there'll be days off for that, but we'll record as many days as I can, uh, you know, around that. Anyway, that is going to call for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the content today, and we will talk to you guys later.